Welcome to mechanical tutorial. I am going to teach you different techniques in SOLIDWORKS for mechanical engineers. I am going to train you different modules like surface modeling, sheet metal and enclosure design, product design, plastic components design, reverse engineering and many more tips and tricks in SOLIDWORKS. Hi, today I am going to explain how to create ball stride with the MR thread in SOLIDWORKS. So this is the drawing of this component. So this is the component. And I am going to explain with the simplest method with limited features. So this is the drawing of this component. So let's start now. So I have taken a new SOLIDWORKS part file. Select the top plane. Go to sketch. Select polygon. Make sure that this is horizontal. This is 13. So it is fully constrained. Go to feature, select extrude, flip the direction. This is 3 mm. Now select the front plane. Keep it in wireframe for better visibility. Draw a circle. Make it construction. Select these two points. Make it vertical. And the distance between this outer edge and the center is 11 mm and this die is 10 mm now draw a line starting from here draw this profile select this two point draw a three point arc now select these two arcs make it co radial select this edge and circle There is a dimension here. Go to leaders and select minimum. It's the dimension to be given. So this is uh, 60 this is 4 this is a vertical constraint this is 2 mm 
this sketch is fully constrained. So, instead of uh, creating number of features, this is the best method. We can create with a single revolve feature. So, this is 20. So, go to features, select revolve and select this line as rotational axis and say ok. See here. See usually most of the times we create this feature then extrude it boss and we create the revolve feature and uh, try to remove this material. So, it is a tedious process instead of that we can have a single revolve feature. Next uh, apply chamfer. this is 0.5 see here now we have to apply the thread so in the whole wizard drop down the third option is thread feature say ok so we have to select this edge distance uh, we can provide uh, 14 see here we have to select the m8 into 1.0 and it should be metric die next we have to select the cut thread instead of extruded thread and it should be right handed thread see here the material is not removed at this location you can see here so to avoid such problem we have to provide offset at this so we have to check this see offset instead of uh, this direction we have to flip the direction see here now we can change the thread length to any value so i'm taking as 18 see here and uh, say okay see here it is exactly created now so, here we have to provide groove at this location. So, select this face, go to sketch, select sketch and convert entities. See here, whatever this face we selected, we have to convert this. So, a trapezium is created. Go to feature, select extruded cut. You can provide any value and say ok, see it is removed. Now, we have to apply fillet. See you have taken 0.5 mm. So, here I am going to select this edge and this edge. So, this is the easiest method to create a ball stud in SOLIDWORKS. Thanks for watching.